I'm turning a super Midwest cookie into a dreamy, dense bar of delight. I'm making my monster cookie bars, which are thick and chewy, basically a junkier granola bar. To get started, I'm gonna melt a stick of butter and I'm gonna melt this over low. I'm gonna add three quarters of a cup of unsweetened peanut butter to my bowl. I like to buy the kind that just has peanuts because I am gonna be adding a bunch of sugar. I'm gonna add a half a cup of granulated sugar and then two thirds of a cup of light brown sugar. That hint of molasses flavor goes so nicely with peanut butter. I'll add a teaspoon of cinnamon. I think of cinnamon to peanut butter the same way that I think of espresso to chocolate. It just brings out its natural tastiness and coziness. A couple of teaspoons of vanilla. I love that flavor. And three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. I'll tuck on my butter. This is all melted. I'll add this right in. And I'll whisk this together. Okay, this is combined. I'm gonna add three eggs now, one at a time. Monster cookies are a classic Midwest dessert. They were invented in Michigan and they've gotta have peanut butter, oats, and candy coated chocolates. So three of the best things. And I like monstering all sorts of desserts. Monster cookie dough, monster granola would be so good. Monster everything. I'll sprinkle in some shredded coconut. It's non-traditional, but I dig it. And some roasted peanuts. This just adds great crunch. I'll get these incorporated. There's no flour in monster cookies. So I'm gonna add three and a half cups of quick cooking oats. I've got my baking soda, and I'm gonna sprinkle one teaspoon evenly all over the oats. I'll mix the baking soda in with the oats so that I can incorporate evenly, and then I'll fold it in with the rest of the batter mixture. I love thick desserts, especially when they're extra gooey. Okay, I always like to add my candy coated chocolates last so that their color doesn't bleed. So I'll sprinkle in a cup. I'll quickly fold these in. I've got a nine by nine square pan and it's greased and lined with parchment with wings, which will help me get the baked bars out. And I'll just dump my dough right in. I'll pat it out evenly all the way to the edge. I love these pans. I have perfect 90 degree corners. So satisfying. If you like a hilly landscape, you could just leave it, but I live in the flatlands, so. I'm gonna take a piece of parchment paper, put it on top, and give it a good pat so that it's extra flat. Feels as flat as the farmland out the window. Looks good. I'll top with a few more chocolates. Every bite is going to get some chocolate on top. These are gonna bake at 350 degrees for 28 minutes until brown around the edges. Take cover. There's about to be a monster invasion in here. They smell awesome. I'm gonna let these cool and then I'll slice them up. Ooh, it's still slightly warm. Here I go. Mmm, mm-hmm, mm. It's nutty, it's oaty, it's chocolatey. I am one happy monster.